happen. And so, welcome again to the big game at uh, the uh, Sipon Stadium with one. You know, we saw you know, the few chances created and also the sort of um, unintelligent play in the half of Kumasi Asante Kotoko when Hazakes were attacking. No, you know, we hope to see an improvement and Kotoko oh, also back in third gear. Very, very dull performance from the title chasers. Amuzu. And again, Emmanuel Jainfi blocking his car. Perhaps uh, two four frame points, final touch on the ball. And Azaka escaped that onslaught. Uh, that was a bit of a scare there from Kumasi Asan Tokotoko. The goalkeeper missed it. There was miscommunication between him and his centre back. And you can see that ball should have been you know, left for him to pick up. But Johnson. You know, headed. The referee punishing Kotoko. And Azakas can actually find the scoring opportunity. He's been hit hard. And you can actually see the disappointment written on the faces of the potential of second year Azakas. And that was a real chance again for no, Amuzu to have done, score. I don't know why he couldn't keep it down, but that was sublime sweet there. Went past this man on his favorite left foot. You know, decided to sky that effort. You know, he had two players waiting inside the box. It was gradually Kotokoa getting back into their groove. Well, oh, it is Jeffy, and he simply can't get it right. Emmanuel Jeffy has squandered a glorious and a glaring chance to put Kotoko ahead. What a miss! What a miss! And that was Jane Fee with the opportunity. Yes, Tada Mohammed. Eric Donko. Eric Donko! Oh! Splendid save from George O. Quality save. It was well delivered. And Donko is now back to life after swapping positions with Imado Jemfi, cutting in onto his favorite left foot. It was a powerful delivery, but it is what experience can give you. And Dada Mohammed slipping, but is able to pick himself up. Dada Mohammed goes in for a shot there, but fully collected by Jojo. And it shows the tenacity, the power and uh, determination on the face of this young player. You know, and yielding bravery there from Dauda, he slipped terribly but then recovered and then put in one. You know, with a punt there, that was really opportunistic from the young man who had wanted to score. Ninth attempt, a lot of power but to win the league in 2007 when coach Bashir Hayford was in charge. And this is an opportunity. Felix Annan comes up. A tiny intervention from Felix Annan. Oh, that. Corner kick taken. Is that a hand It's ball? a penalty. It should have been a penalty. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Ose is a bit shocked <laughs> at that decision. Amos Frimpon joining his men. You know, good with his head as well. And this. Ball holding and agent's header. Oh. Right, since coming on, this was the header, a wrong one, but a lovely flick there from Eric Berkrain. And he kept his composure. The former Ghana Youth International that was stupendous, sublime, fabulous. And opening the scoring here with a quarter of an hour left, goalkeeper Felix and this time round. Couldn't save the situation. His opponent, Nyako. Well, that's a handball. Penalty expert for Kumasi Asante Koroko. And he calmly and coolly slots in to the bottom corner for the equalizer for Kumasi Asante Koroko. And Felix Anand knows that that point is favorable to Kumasi Asante Koroko. Crucial point. 
you know, they've got difficult games coming up. But what a penalty. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. And Amos announcing his credentials. That he can actually use to weave his way out to mesmerize the opponent. That's a lovely ball to Frank Safu Jemfi. Tauda Mohamed. And that's another fall there. This time Awa Mohamed is not going to give. And Koroko would again be thinking no, that I don't understand. Awa Mohamed I just can't has short changed them. And I just don't understand why it wasn't a penalty. You know, it should have been a penalty. Good play there from Safu Jemfi. His contribution has been felt, and this was it. It was a clear case of a penalty.